Hi everybody. So this is going to be a video book review on the book Water for Elephants. Um, I just want to say that the video quality is going to be a little weird because um, the sun is coming through and it was too bright and it was making me look funny so I had to close the curtain as you can see. This book it's just amazing. It is just amazing. From beginning to end I couldn't stop. Well I forced myself to stop because one of my friends and I, um, we were reading it together, but I love it. I mean, look at the pictures that they have at the beginning of every chapter. I mean, that is just like, that's crazy. Have you ever seen a book that does that? Well, not all the chapters, but, um, to see this 21, they don't, it doesn't have the picture, but most of them have a picture. I think it's every two chapters, maybe. But the one thing that I love if we want to talk about quality of the book, is the edge. How it looks like old paper. I love that. I mean, it's just the front. It's not like that on the tops or on the bottoms. I kind of wish it was because it makes it feel really cool. I think it gives it gives the book more character. Okay, the book is about a guy named Jacob. And you first start off um, hearing about Jacob's um, life in the, in, um, the circus. You He tells you something important and... You don't hear about it again until the very, very end. And I misunderstood what it was. Um, but I think that's the point because it makes you think one thing and then you get to the end and then it's something completely different. He goes from talking as his younger self, his 20-something-year-old self, to his 93-year-old self. And it, you get so wrapped up in the circus part of his life that he tells you about. So when he does talk about when he's old again, you get so confused for a second because you're like, wait, what is he talking about? This isn't what the last chapter was about. Here's maybe about five or six chapters in the whole book um, of him being old. I could be wrong, there could be more, but I might have just been so into it I didn't notice. But I mean, other than that, for the most part, the book is really, really good. Knowing that they're in, I believe, the late 1920s, early 1930s, it's a very rough time. So, you know, having his learned from in history and in school what that time was like, it makes it easier to understand. You just gotta read it for yourself to experience it because I was never a circusy type person. I went to a circus once when I was in the fifth grade and it terrified me because I do not like clowns at all. But um, you gotta read it, you have to experience it and take it all in. You have to. This is one of the books that you have to have time for because it it makes you invest so much time in it. And it's it's just so good. Oh my, I, that's all I can say is that it's really good. Um, for a book written about a circus and you can pull it, the little details about it and make it so relatable to the real world, I think is a good thing. Most books you can't do that. Read it. Enjoy it. Review it. Let me know what you think about it. And... Uh, do that. Bye, everybody.